all right uh, this is bank nifty and daily chart now i can see uh, last uh, few days uh, bank nifty continuously creating a uh, bullish candlestick pattern now you can see i can see this is the bullish candlestick bullish candlestick everywhere last yesterday we have seen the format doji pattern or you can say inverted hammer and exactly this inverted hammer form exactly just near this resistance line so why is it raised in line 21,000? So yesterday I told that 21,000 is strong raised in. So you can see in, in our previous history, price was rejecting again and again in this area. So similarly, we have seen price just create a dozy pattern. And now because price is running in this range, so here you can see this is the range of this market. And the price are formed dozy pattern. Most of the people are thinking, hey, it will push down to this level. We never know, right? Price will, where price will go, but we are not expecting right now uh, to this level. It is too far, but uh, we are expecting price will give a correction from this area uh, to this level of one nine five uh, nineteen thousand five hundred. All right, this is a strong support, and you can see uh, there are twenty moving average are there almost here. So means we know everybody the price never goes like rocket or straight wise and always price goes like a wave right always price goes like a wave all right now you can see here uh this is the resistance line so we are expecting to give a correction from this area and after that they will continue to the level but we never know so, all right uh, now you can see in a small time frame like h1 uh it's uh four chart so here you can see this is the range and most of the people are thinking oh, and here what is this this is called buffer zone have you seen this is called buffer area all right so i given this now we must find out some specific entry point and uh, let me show you uh, this is uh, moving average uh 100 so i drawn as a supporting line all right so in that case we need a breakout so if uh, sorry if price break this supporting line we are looking for short and our target will be somewhere here so let's see yeah h1 chart and h1 chart you can see it look like that still they are running in an uptrend and here so we already discussed uh, on buy direction right now you can see uh, price are running in an uptrend and they are creating higher high and we are looking for short after breaking this knot now most of the people are thinking hey let's go for short right now no we need a breakout so that is why i given a raise a supporting line so once they break and we'll we'll, we'll go for short and next target will be somewhere here all right so that is sell direction and then let's see for the buy direction now in a buy direction you can see still running an uptrend and they are bouncing from moving average 50 and 20 all right so this 20 and 50 moving average called key level so let me tell you once again so in this area we have seen price hit and reverse back but next here you can see 20 moving average they are following and bouncing from moving average 20 means right now price are respecting two moving average one is 50 and another 20 so 20 was somewhere here they didn't respect and broke uh, this 20 moving average now we are just focusing on 50 moving average either they're gonna respect or not if price break this level we are looking for short after breaking this supporting line and our target will be somewhere here all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching